Here at Haldane we get a number of calls in from architects and designers, They're always asking what applications and what timbers would we suggest for what applications. What we've got here is a bit of American black walnut. It's very much in vogue at the moment. It's a very luxurious timber and it gets used in many uh, locations such as uh, hotels, luxury houses, such like. We've particularly used this a lot in the staircases where they've got a glass balustrading and they want to put a spiral um, black walnut handrail down it. Very much in vogue and very good timber. What I have here is one of the old favourites, uh, cherry. Cherry again, uh, North American hardwood beautifully uh, coloured, it's a very warm feeling to it, when it's all polished up it's very rich. Again it gets used for hand drill and furniture purposes, really good and uh, I would certainly highly recommend it. Now oak, American white oak, you will notice that nowadays when you go into um, all the furniture stores you won't find the mahogany, you'll find oak, it's everywhere. It's very much the same in vogue but it's plentiful, it's good to work with, it's very hard wearing very hard wearing at all, great for furniture and balustrading as such, and also great for glazing beads and doors. Another old firm favourite, here we have maple, um, as I say Canadian maple or American maple, it's, um, as I say it's got flex through it, it's a nice creamy colour, it lightens up a project, um, used for hand railing, glazing beads, applications being that um, it can be used for furniture, it's, it's a really good timber, lovely timber. Lovely. Now here we have a piece of sapelli. Now all of us know about Brazilian mahogany and the problems with sourcing that. Um, you can't get furniture with nowadays, so now this is the alternative, is using sapelli. It's a, from the mahogany family, but it's a very tight and rich grain, and when it's polished up, it does marry in beautifully with the, as you say, dark mahogany colours that you're looking for. Another American one is uh, American white ash. Um, you can see here it's got the cream with the dark grains to it. Uh, similar when all polished up, it looks very much like oak in some cases when you stain it up, but it's very cost effective to do that if you're looking for an alternative for oak. Now here I have two contenders. Um, this is beech. Now you'll see the one on the left hand side here, that's a, it's white beech. And the one that's uh, steamed beech, that's a pinkier, more richer colour. Now these, as we know, beets used to be used for school, um, school classroom tables and uh, it's used for furniture but it's superb for being used internally for public buildings and uh, for handrails and things like that because it's very, very hard wearing um, and it's a very good timber to work with. As I say, it's been around a long while and it's plentiful. And finally, if you're looking for a cost option in the hardwood, this is the cheapest hardwood you'll possibly get, and it's tulip wood. It is a very creamy coloured timber. It's not it's quite close grain, but it's softer than the rest, but it's still a hardwood nonetheless. It's used um, on the basis of we do turnings or we're doing some uh, handrail or components that need to get painted, furniture, table legs, things like that. This is superb for that because you get a fantastic finish on it and it's a great timber and very, very cost effective. So that's the range of timbers that I would certainly recommend to you for certain purposes, but feel free to phone us because we'll sort that out for you and give you good advice on them.